Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the high-tech pet electronic dog door. Now this was already installed when we bought our house last summer and uh, we thought that was going to be pretty cool. We were really going to like it. At that time we just had one miniature schnauzer and he is about 19 pounds. So he's a medium-sized dog and he's a pretty smart little dude. However, the owner forgot to leave us the, the little electronic sensor that came with the system. We really wanted to try it out, so I went online to Amazon and it didn't have that great of reviews. I think mostly because of the expensive proprietary batteries. But I just thought it was worth spending $40 on a new collar just to give it a try. I mean, it was already installed, there was a big hole in the wall anyway. so. I ordered the newer version, MS-5, to give it a try. And I've actually been very pleased with this little collar. I was able to make an, an opinion about it without having to obsess over how much I spent on the thing. This was about $45 on Amazon, and it's the MS-5, which I think also can be used with like the sonic training unit, I guess for barking or... So when I push test, it lights up for a second. So it's probably getting low on the battery. We've lived here for about seven months and I've only changed battery twice. So I'd say it lasts about three months per battery and they're pretty expensive. I'll talk later about buying some ECR2430 replacement batteries. I've read that these can be modified to be used with this. So, so we'll talk about that a little later. What I find to be the only major drawback about this it's a little bit noisy, the dog door is a little noisy, and it does open and close if he gets too close to it. If he sits on the couch in a certain spot, it can open and close to an annoying degree. But overall, I think it's pretty neat. We do have another dog door over in the garage just in case this malfunction, the dogs would still have access to come inside. But I'm really anxious to get this working for the Yorkie because my miniature schnauzer was super easy to house train and the Yorkie is really driving us to our wits end with potty training. So I would like for him to have like the closest access to the outdoors so that maybe he'll start doing it outside. So the thing that I do with uh, Augie's collar, I just made a loop and I put a little rivet there to permanently hold it in place. And this makes it easy to slide on and off the collar. Now with the miniature schnauzer, that works fine because, you know, he's got a longer neck and this I thought would be too bulky for him, but it doesn't bother him at all. It's not too bulky at all. However, on a three month old um, Yorkie, not a teacup Yorkie, but a regular size Yorkie, probably about maybe four or five pounds right now. When I put it sideways like this, it really drives him crazy. And I think especially because it's hanging vertically, he goes crazy because it kind of pokes him in the neck and in the chest. The MS-5 is, they say it's more waterproof. It does have a little rubber gasket inside. This is the MS-5. And you can see how it's supposed to go. It has to be a fairly skinny little collar. And then it goes in here, slides through here horizontally. So it should hang horizontally. Let me see if one's bigger than the other. They seem to be about the same size, about the same weight. Okay, so the MS-5, the difference is that um, it's more waterproof and they've put a little screw in the back here to make it more secure so it doesn't fall apart. Whereas this one, um, it just kind of snaps out and people have complained that it snaps out, snaps and falls apart in their backyard and they can't find all the parts. And this one seems to be, I wouldn't say it's completely waterproof, but it does have a rubber gasket inside. It, on a regular ribbon collar, you're not gonna be able to get this on even if you take it apart and reassemble it, which is what I like to do. However, it's too thick. So I bought this little tiny collar at Walmart. I'm sure it was just a couple of dollars. I wasn't really paying attention. So what I'm hoping is that this will just slide right through here. Come on. Don't tell me it's too small. I think I'm gonna have to cut it anyway. So maybe if I give it like this, this fits. I'm just going to cut off that little burned end to make it slide through a little easier. Yeah, this is working. Okay, so we're going to put that in there like that. So I purposely got, instead of the snap kind, I purposely got it with a buckle so that I don't have to have a big chunky thing on the end. Okay, so I can slide it on and off. 
So here we go. This will go on the puppy. Once I check the size for him, I'll cut it more evenly and then just take a, a flame and burn the nylon on the end so it won't unravel. There we go. So I'm gonna try this on the dog and see if he's more comfortable wearing it horizontally. He's not gonna like it. He doesn't like anything really. <laughs> I think those dog doors are about $350. Probably never would have purchased the thing if it hadn't already been installed because getting my husband to cut a giant hole in through the stucco and through the wall would have just never happened. So I'm glad that it was already there and I am gonna take advantage of it. And then I will put this on the schnauzer. And then this is really easy for the schnauzer. I'll just stick this on here. Okay, I'm gonna try this on the dog and we'll see how it goes. Aren't you sweet? You're being sweeter than the last time. So here's the collar. I got from Target and he's already growing out of it and I've I didn't like all the bulk of the plastic stuff so here's little Eli he's a four month old Yorkie and he is a little terror he's like a little Tasmanian devil okay so there we go there it is there it's supposed to hang like right underneath that's pretty cute I'd say and it fits him really well and he's got his old collar in his mouth. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how this works. Hey, Huggy Doggy, coming in or out? Coming in. So they both have their collars on. And then it just waits a second. It might not close because they're both in the, in the vicinity. Okay, come here, you little turd. Okay, they're both close by, so it's not gonna close. There it goes. You can make it run on a battery, but it's, it's they put it in right next to an outlet, which is nice. It also has, I think it has battery backup. I'm not sure. So you can make adjustments to on, off, open. There we go. What do you think, little one? What do you think? How you like your collar, huh? You're okay with it? So it makes a lot of noise, but it is pretty neat. You can adjust the settings from the outside and the inside to make it more or less sensitive. You can turn it on so only it only opens coming out in from the out, going inside out or vice versa. I probably would have never spent that much money myself, but I'm really glad it's there. And I do think it's well worth the money for the bat. The batteries are pretty expensive, but it'll really be worthwhile if I'm able to modify the standard batteries and use those because the batteries, I think are about $5 a piece. And if you just have one dog, $5 every three months is not a big deal. But if you have two dogs and it's $10 every three months, I think that could get pretty tiresome. What do you think, Goggy, coming in? You don't like this, now you can't escape him. Poor Augie, he used to go outside for sanctuary to get away from the crazy Yorkie because He's 10 years old, and he doesn't want to play quite as much as this crazy little thing. So, sorry about all the mess on the floor. It's been raining, and they're tracking dirt in and out. So I need to put a little rug or something there. But the little rug makes the puppy think that he's supposed to go to the bathroom on it. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will help with house training with the dog. We have the wall installation which requires a tunnel adapter, which you can buy on Amazon, along with the replacement batteries and the battery backup. Keep in mind that ours was the PX1, the medium version for $299, and it has an 8x10 inch opening. They also have a large one for $349, and that opening is 12 and a quarter by 16 inches for bigger dogs. They also have some patio door models, so take a look at that on Amazon. Now keep in mind that my review is based on not having to make that initial investment of $300. All I had to pay for it was a $40 collar and the replacement batteries. That's it, so thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Hey Mimi DIY so you can catch my follow-up video on how it goes modifying the replacement batteries with the Energizer ones. We'll see if that works.